this morning by the grace of God we'll be looking at a topic titled lost and found John 14 6 I read from the first standard version I am the way and the truth and the life no one comes to the father about me lost and found many of us have missed our path we are living in the wilderness we are being consumed by our own failure we have been detached from the fact we are wandering around with that proper destination or direction. We are lost in the world. We are lost in our direction. Many of us are walking with that even the driven purpose. Our purpose has been crippled and paralyzed due to our lack of ambition, ambitiousness, due to environmental influence, friends. The Bible said, another blind man can't lead another. If the boat tries it, they will fall put in the ditch. Many of us are following the, the wrong companies, therefore, bringing us into the state of lost, being lost, no direction, walking, nothing good is coming out, why because we are in the midst of those that don't have direction, if you want to live a life full of appropriate living, then you must learn to look for those who has destination. A man who has no destination shouldn't work with men who has destination. Or rather, men who has destination shouldn't work with those who don't have any. If not, you will be lost. Lost in this case is not a physical disappearance but lost in the sense that you are in the world but you don't understand your placement in the world many people are lost because they don't know their stand in the world recently while i was returning to my hotel in a city the driver turned left when he should have turned right and it took him a while to figure out how to get to our destination. He had to stop and check his roadmap. Often in life, just one wrong turn, just one wrong decision can take us where we do not want to go. Or more importantly, it can keep us from going where we do want to go there is an ancient saying that all road leads to Rome when one is lost on a road to Rome or anywhere else all that is needed to find a way is a good road map or a good direction from someone who knows the way not all road leads to God as suggest there is a roadblock which keeps man from reaching God no matter what the road road it takes that roadblock is seen but God has provided a map the Bible and he has provided one who know the way 
I can give you direction. Jesus Christ. Christ said, No man comes to the Father but by me. Not only does Christ give direction to the Father through himself, but he also gives us daily direction as to his Father's will for our life. Like direction from a map or a person in our travel. We can follow them and give our desired destination or we can ignore them and become lost. You remember Jesus did say I am one of the way or one of the road you can take to get to the Father. What he said, I am the way, the holy way, determined to follow Jesus Christ and never be lost. The only solution to you being lost in the world is locating Christ. Locate him and begin to work for him. And see things work out positively for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, our God, wrong choices and dead hands have often blocked my ability to live my life fully for you. Take away my sins and lead me towards full acceptance of the leadership and guidance that you provided through the Holy Spirit. I will follow you, Jesus, as the way, truth, and life. In his name, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, the Lord bless you and increase you on every side. This is the time for you to wake up, pick up your, your things and walk for Him. Because this is not a time for you to begin to consider things. It's already lost, and now the only way to find yourself is to abide in Him. It's the only way. There is no other way. Is the only direction. There is no other direction to salvation. I pray the Lord God bless us abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen. By the grace of God, I remain my humble self, Joshua Satan. Don't forget to join me tomorrow for another exhortation like this. Till then, stay blessed.